Oh shit. Yeah. You know me? <laughs> we do. Uh, let's no, talk. If you're gonna hug, I'm gonna hug. My name's Ryan. How's it going, Ryan? Nice yeah. to meet so, you. We stayed yeah. in the same house as you in Lords on 65. Oh wow, really? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Today we're just gonna be hanging around town, walking and talking. Um, it's Sunday afternoon. As you guys can see everybody's out with the bikes. We're gonna get a little closer, show you a little more. So just stay tuned for more. All right, guys, how's it going? Well, today we're just gonna be doing a little walking and talking. It's Sunday afternoon. I gotta get to the center. Um, it's really funny because I've been out here a bunch of times and as you guys can see, there's like nothing going on over here. There's traffic coming that way. But as you guys can see this side, it's closed off to bicycles. I remember when I first moved out here, they used to close this side and that side. <clears throat> so both of these sides used to be closed. But now, <clears throat> they just one side, you see? And so we're on Paseo Montejo. As you guys can see, we're right here just chilling on Paseo Montejo. And I think the, I think the reason they've changed things up a little bit is because uh, there's just more traffic. There's more people in the city coming in here all the time. And um, because of that, they just need to keep opening up the, the traffic, you know, the avenues, uh, the growth. So, I actually got to go to a centro. It's around 11 in the morning right now. Um, it's a bit early for me, but, um, you know, again, I have a very busy week, very busy weekend. Let me just keep walking and talking and stop wasting time. Um, I have a date at like 2.30, so I got to hurry the hell up, and I got like a million things I got to buy, and I got a full docket of things I got to do this week. So, without further ado, I'm just going to stick, strap you to the top of my head as I usually do, and we're just going to enjoy the sights as always. Make sure I don't look too crazy. It's always nice to have these uh, mirrors. All right. Just crazy enough. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> All right, so this is Sunday afternoon, a few blocks from my house. Um, this is awesome. You can't beat this. Usually in order to, to live in an area like this, back in the States or back in any other place, you're going to be paying a lot of fucking rent. You're not going to be able to afford to live in a nice area like this. If you want to enjoy this on a Sunday afternoon, you got to drive all the way out here. But one thing about living out here that's so awesome, it's not like that at all. Anyone can afford it. All right, let me, you guys already see this all the time, so I'm gonna see if I can walk in the middle of the street for a little while. Why not? Just so you guys can get a little bit more in-depth action, I guess. But yeah, so, you know, th this whole street, which goes, I wanna say like uh, a half a mile, or maybe a half a mile or a whole mile in distance, yeah, you know, from one side to the other. And, um, they close it off all the time, you know, on Sundays they have the bike situation, on Saturdays, uh, Saturday night they do the bike situation as well, but they also close all this off, and there's all kinds of parties, and there's all kinds of events, and people dancing, and, and festivals, and, and look, we're going to see some more there, and it's just constant, it's just freaking constant, you know, there's always something going on, tomorrow, Monday night, there's something going on, Tuesday, going on, Wednesday, every, every day there's something going on. These are like very famous mansions, you know, there's a bunch of these down the street here. <laughs> Don't want to get run over. I'm walking in the middle of the street here, like a douchebag. But um, as you guys can see, you know, um, if I don't tell you where I am, you guys probably think I'm in LA or in another part of uh, the US or anywhere else. Just very, very chill vibe. Look at this, beautiful. Just 
So again, you know, as you walk down this whole avenue, you know, there's places just like this all up and down. I usually don't come down this way on Sundays. On Sundays, I'm always on that side, but I gotta go this way, so there's the way we're going. But as you guys can see, you know, there's more bike rentals over there, more people, guys selling stuff. And it's a beautiful thing, it's a beautiful thing. You got religion stuff, if you like religious, they're always here, they're always everywhere. It's funny because like, uh, even, <laughs> even the bike riders sometimes don't know how to ride the bike. But, um, all right, let's get back. So this is just Sunday afternoon. Today's video um, is just going to be walking and talking as usual. You know why it's so awesome out here. It's not even why it's so awesome out here. You guys already know why it's so awesome out here. In fact, today we're going to be talking a little bit different. We're going to be talking a little bit about the MTAL lifestyle. Because why not? What is what is MTAL? I don't even know how to say it right. But it's just... Um, men going their own way and the reason i feel a little comfortable uh, talking about this today is because you know when i look at my analytics it's like 98 percent to 100 percent guys that watch so this is a really awesome place been here since literally 1958 been here many dates good stuff very traditional this place is very um just a traditional place i don't know it's just been here for a very very long time and it's just like a 50s diner but with a little mexican vibe it's really cool All right, now we got two routes to choose from. I usually always go down that street over there. Down that street is where all the art galleries are. We walk through there all the time. I don't walk through here too much, but usually this little area here, they close it off and they have all kinds of events. So during Christmas and stuff like that, this whole area here was closed off and they had like all kinds of, uh, you know, just Christmas decorations. And it's like a little mini winter wonderland, you know, and it went as far as back and they had like uh, concerts and all kinds of stuff and um as you guys can see you know like um everyone's out it's 11 o'clock and um everyone's just out here enjoying life you know um whether they're with their families or not they're very family friendly and very chill so all right let's uh let's cross over here right quick And so, man, it must be really windy right now. All right. So, um, as you guys can see, they close off the streets, you know, and it's just bike lanes everywhere. And um, it's encouraged and not only to, to have a bike and ride a bike, but um, to do it with the family and enjoy it, get exercise, get fresh air, get some sun, and so on and so forth. But they have changed the bike route though since I since from the time I moved there, they have changed it up a bit. And I could tell I could tell they're changing it up just because there's more people here, more traffic, more everything. But it's alright, you know what I mean? In fact I feel like it's more it's just easier to follow now than what it used to be. But again, it goes I, I think I'm guessing it is. It, it, this is where it ends, huh? See before it used to go deep into the city. That's that's new. All this is I guess they, they changed the route. But you see it ends here. Which before I used to go deep into the city, that's the center right there. And then not only that, but then it just goes all the way up and up and down Paseo Montejo. Now the beauty of all this, you know, the whole bicycle thing, this is like a thing here. Um, the park where I go to all the time, a lot of times um, at that park, what they do is that that's where they gather. All right, let's uh, let's go back to Calle. 60. I want to make sure I don't get run over. Come on, lady. Make sure to look forward, please. Thank you. All right. Um, so, what was I saying? So, yeah, down at the park, you know, that's like a big gathering spot. You know the park that I always walk through and we'll rock, walk right by and show you guys? So, at that park, it's like a big uh, gathering spot. 
for bicycles so for example when i go there on tuesdays or i think it's tuesday nights or wednesday nights i don't know when they do it but that's like um they also have like one of these bicycle routes but it's more professional you know meaning like you know the professional bikers and the people that really go out there and do this on a regular basis um they they gather like on all right let's keep going they keep um they gather there like every wednesday night tuesday night at the big park and all of a sudden like you know you i'm out there you're out there having dinner at the park or you're just hanging out with a date or whatever and, and all of a sudden you see like a hundred bikers just show up out of nowhere and i'm not talking about the harley davidson bikers you know the same bikers we're looking at right now and they just show up out of nowhere and you know they all just gather there and they go they just you know they just gather there they go to bars they go to parks i mean i'm sorry they go to bars they got to get something to eat then so on and so forth but yeah look i don't know if you guys can see that thing there that green thing says punto de reunión you're gonna see these everywhere throughout the city that green sign or their punto de reunión you see these everywhere and what that sign means it means point of reunion you know meaning like that's like a reunion spot so you're gonna see these everywhere all over the city and i don't really know what the hell they mean but again just by translating it it's a reunion point so i don't know i guess that's where everybody gathers for whatever reason if there's like some sort of emergency in the neighborhood if there's some sort of uh situation where people need to gather so on and so forth and yes look how stretchy the streets are look how fucking stretchy the streets are very small i almost fucking tripped like an asshole oh wait i think this is where oh yeah so look you know let me just show you real quick Yeah, so this is where I'm going on my date in a few hours, so I gotta hurry the fuck up. <laughs> so this is it right here. Look, look at this place. So so at this place, you just come in here. Yeah, at this place you just come in here, buy some drinks, and they give you free free appetizers as you drink. So that's why it's a good place. So it's so too early. It's so like 11:30, but in a few hours, you know, once they start serving the drinks. You just show you just post up there um order drinks and as soon as you order drinks they start giving you uh tapas the uh, botanas here but they give you tapas just so that's a lot easier for you guys to understand a little windy see look another one of those reunion points see it needs to say bitcoin right here So here, um, look at this, like a nice little boutique store. Hey, how's it going? Look at an antique store. Look at this. I'm trying not to go into these stores. I'm trying not to, you know, got got the camera on my head. I don't want to be. Look at this. Look at that. Cool, right? So out here they have, um, they got tapas. You know what I mean? They got tapas, but tapas are called botanas. Okay? And they're a little different. You know, tapas is Spanish, from Spanish culture. And it's so windy. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Hopefully you can. And, um, and then botanas are just like the Mexican version of that. So that's pretty cool. So just like in, in Spain. So just like in Spain, you can go to um, you know a, a restaurant and just order a glass of wine or a beer or whatever you know, and then they as soon as you order your drink, they put they put tapas all over the table, and uh, it's just to get you to eat. Because again, just from the restaurant industry, you know, I, like again, I used to be a chef and I was in the restaurant industry my whole life. By the way, I don't know if you guys can tell how empty 
these streets are. We were here literally last Sunday and this shit was packed full of people. But you can tell it's still early. Everyone's in the other part of the city and this is still empty. And so you see how everyone just migrates from point to point to point. And every day you just gotta, you know, be, you know, checking out the Merida apps or checking out the, the local events and shit like that because things change on a day to day basis. But there's always shit going on. Look, right now, actually, like, I think why it's so empty is because there's a carnival happening all the way at the south of the city. Like an actual carnival. Like a whole carnival like they do in Brazil. You know, like I said, there's always something going on. There's only so many people to put on these events, so, you know, they can't be everywhere. So, here, let's go through here again. Remember, we, were, we went through here last week. Let's check it out again. Why not? Seems like everyone's out still. But look at look, look, look at all these awesome antiques, you know. Really cool stuff. All kinds of awesome stuff. Antiques. Look at this coins. Look at this. Is this real silver? I wonder if this is real silver. I wonder how much these things are going for. Look at this. This is this kind of shit I'm into. Damn, I, I gotta bring. I gotta bring some shit to see. Look at this. <laughs> oh no, una, una pregunta. ¿Cuánto, a cuánto las monedas? Las monedas cuáles, señor? No, eh, eh, no sé. Nada más que preguntando. Estas son, estas son eh, tienen plata, 50. Estas son, estas son a 30. Aquí son a 10. De 10 por ciento de plata, ¿verdad? Lo que me dice. O de precio. No, no. De 10 pesos. Pero, 10 pesos. Pero ya, yeah, yo estoy buscando que tengan plata. Plata son o sea, puro plata, tú sabes, no, no pura plata. No, nada más que 50 entonces. Sí. Ok. Estas son a 50. Ah, ok, ok. ¿Y cuánto, cuánto vale cada una de 50? Curioso. Todas son a 50. Estas. Oh, 50 pesos por sí. cada. Y entonces, ¿cuánto, cuánto de plata tiene? Eh, 8 gramos. Ah, oh, 8 gramos. Ok, ok. También, también. Muchas gracias. Sí. We got books. Look at this little mini library or whatever have you. But yeah, like the reason I was looking at that silver, because again, guys, um, a lot of you guys that watch me, <clears throat> a lot of you viewers, you know, um, so yeah, a lot of you, a lot of my viewers, you know, you guys are into gold, silver, Bitcoin, so on and so forth. So as you guys can see, silver is not only sold at the banks here. <clears throat> I can't bring you, I can't bring the camera inside a bank for obvious reasons. But, um, but if you go to the freaking banks out here, you will literally see, um, and not, not all banks, you're not gonna see it at the, the central banks. You're only gonna see this at the Mexican banks. But, but then when you see, when you go to the Mexican central banks, you will see that they offer silver to purchase at the window. And so even here, you know, we're just walking through, you know, a little swap meet and they sell silver there too. It was 50 pesos per coin, it says eight grams of silver. I don't know, I gotta do the math later on, but that might be a deal. 50 pesos only two dollars and fifty cents so you know gotta check that out but again see look now we're back in this area that we've been here remember we were here last week but a lot later and as you guys can see they're setting up you see there's music going on people sitting down waiting there's something's gonna happen here it's about, it's about they're about to throw down I don't know what they're gonna be throwing down but it's about to happen and uh, yeah as you guys can see you know they're setting up shop they're selling stuff before they're even done setting up and some people again just to set up is just a little wooden thing right, i'm gonna strap you back to the head actually you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna turn it off because i'm running out of battery these batteries suck and i'll I'll start filming again once I get to the center of the city. I want to see if I can film a little more. Oh, you know what? Look, I see more silver being sold. Hold on. Hold on, I want to show you this. So as you guys can see, silver is a big part of Mexican culture still. And again, just a little brief his history lesson. Remember, the Spanish had an empire back in the day. And the reason that they were able to, you know, 
build that empire was on the back of silver. And where did they get that silver? They got that silver from this part of the world. In fact, they dug up so much silver from this area. Um, I'm talking about the, the Spanish, you know, the Spanish empire back in the day. They took out so much. They took out so much silver from the ground that they hyperinflated the Spanish peso. You know, back, this is like hundreds of years ago, but they hyperinflated the Spanish peso um, with pure silver. So usually when we talk about the hyperinflation, we're talking about fiat. We're talking about paper dollars, okay? We're talking about that. And uh, this is one of the few times in, in history, that's how hardcore the Spanish were, bro. That this is one of the few times in history in which um, the hyperinflation was caused with pure silver. Um, there was no, um, you know, like they did in uh, Rome where they where they got the coins back and then, you know, they would, uh, you know, send the coins back with less silver and less silver. No, that never actually happened with the Spanish Empire. Because again, there was just so much pure silver. But again, just like supply and demand, too much silver or too much anything, too many dollars, too many anything, it brings the value down dramatically. So, yeah. All right, guys, so I'm gonna cut it off. I got a few more blocks to go so I can show you a little bit more in depth of the center that I don't think I showed you last time, all right? So we're back here where we were last week, last Sunday. Um, this time I'm gonna see if I can give you guys a little bit more in-depth walkthrough um, of the area. All right, so just stay tuned and uh, we're gonna take a little walk and talk. So these things right here, maguesitas, they're like uh, a traditional um, local thing. I don't know if they're all over Mexico or not, but they definitely love them out here. And what it is, it's just a crepe. You know, they make a crepe there. Let's see if we can watch the guy make it. And then within the crepe, they add things like Nutella or cajeta or a bunch of things. And it's really good. It's amazing. Edam cheese. Oh yeah, and cheese, Edam cheese, you know? So, um, see look, that cheese right there. Yeah, yeah. La marquesita de aquí de Yucatán o de Mexico entero? De México entero, ok, ok. So, bueno, más de Yucatán, pero ya okay, está para todo. Ya para todo mundo. Ok, ok. Sí, sí. sí, son bien ricas, a mí me encantan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Solo de queso. So, yeah, so it's just a crepe, and what they do is that they add cheese, and then you add like Nutella and cajeta or whatever, you know what I mean? But again, these guys are just getting a cheese. I prefer cheese too. That's right, that's right. And it is a Yucatan thing, but it's all over Mexico. Plátano. So. Plátano. And see, look, this guy sells drinks. This literally sells them in the thing. Hold on, which of them? And so when you order one, they just pop the thing and bam, you're good to go. <laughs> but anyways, that's a finished product up there. You know what I mean? So they get the whole thing. They, they add the cheese, they add all the stuff. I'm gonna see if I can, there you go. They're gonna finish it up. You guys can see. Hopefully, you guys can see there. You see, they roll it up. <laughs> and that's it. But uh, yeah, those things are phenomenal, you know? If you love cheese and you love sweets, you're good to go. You see, I eat these all the time. I make these at home. Little plantain chips. They got all kinds of fried goodies here. Little churros. More marquesitas, the same thing we just saw now. Ice cream, people. <laughs> Y 
And uh, you can there's le definitely less people around right now. They're all over the place at the moment. Oh, Jose. Huh? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. You know me? <laughs> we do. Uh, let's no, talk. If you're going to hug, I'm going to hug. My name's Ryan. How's it going, Ryan? Nice yeah. to meet you. So, we yeah. stayed in the same house as you in Lourdes on 65. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. That's cool. And you said? Sorry, yeah, yeah. And, we, and so we got, we, yeah. we, when we rented the house, he went on uh, YouTube, YouTube was posted, yeah. and he's like, I found the house, and this guy videotaped the whole entire thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now I'm videotaping you guys, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, we, so, we've seen some of your videos walking around and cool, cool. saying hi to people and whatnot. So. Awesome. Now and they got, were hopeful, just yeah, so yeah. you know. Oh, they were thank hopeful. you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, we live here that. now, we moved here. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yes. We sold oh, our awesome. house in yeah. Seattle, and we live here now in Chubber now. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I lived in Seattle for years too. So. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Is there a friend? Well, that was pretty interesting. That was pretty awesome. As you guys can see, I was just walking around, doing my thing, walking and talking, and uh, some people literally recognized me, and I was not expecting that at all. Um, how can I not feel at home out here? So, yeah, they were just fans, as you guys can tell. Um, I think I recorded some of it, and it was really cool. So, yeah. That's pretty awesome. All right, so I'm running out of battery here, so I'm gonna put you back on my head, show you guys a little bit more before the whole thing dies off. And I gotta get hurrying up because uh, it's already getting late. And I don't wanna make her wait. Hey, that rhymes. All right. Maybe I can't, maybe I should be like Pitbull, right? <laughs> So I have a list of things I gotta buy. So I don't even know where I am right now. So let me just walk through here. Hammocks. Hammocks are a big thing of the Yucatan. No, no, no. Me gustan todas, están todas bien bonitas. Okay, ¿cómo es? Oh no, sí, sí, aquí ya tengo más allá. Yo vivo aquí ya, so gracias. You know, it's funny because like as I walk through here, they give me the tourist treatment. And when I'm not a tourist, they don't like it because it's like I'm not gonna buy anything. They well whatever man. Anyway. So as you guys can see there's all kinds of stuff out here for sale. Always. It's Mexico. It's like a giant flea market that's actually friendly. But you can tell there's a lot less people than there was last week. Let me see, let me see, because I gotta, I forgot where I gotta, where I, I don't even know where I am. Alright, cathedral, so I gotta go that way, alright. See that, that's like a, like a major uh, landmark to help you move around and walk around and so on and so forth. So yeah, that, that was really interesting, that was really cool, I had a nice little conversation uh, with them folks there. I'm still like a little, um, I'm starstruck. If anything, I'm the one that's starstruck, not them. <laughs> well, that was really, really cool. That was awesome. And uh, I guess it's a sign of things to come, huh? All right, so let's just walk that way, walk that way, and kind of end it because uh, I got to hurry up. I got shit to do. But it's like I love walking around here. I love showing you guys all this. I love being able to just really show you what it's like out here. How awesome, how friendly, how... How accessible, how how cheap, how beautiful, how everything this place is out here. It's 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 really awesome. It's funny too, like I noticed a lot of people from Seattle and the, the cold weathers, cold weather climates love coming down here. So yeah. See, I gotta, I gotta go to a few stores. I gotta go to the pharmacy. I gotta buy some soap from the organic store. Um, I gotta, what else? I gotta buy some blunts. I gotta buy a few things. But as you guys, like, there's people leaving the church right now. There's people, like, actually attending that church. Oh, 
oh yeah, you know what? Let's walk through here. I, I, I always forget to come through here. Shopping, no shopping. No, no, that's Muchas gracias. Um, so, um, yeah, let me just show you, you know, through here real quick. Might as well. I'm already here. But, um, yeah, you know what I mean? Um, this plaza is uh, inside a museum. All this is like a museum all around it. Um, there's all kinds of stuff here. Um, right now, they have paintings. As you guys can see, as far as the eyes can see, you can see you know, all kinds of really cool paintings. But a lot of times, you know, they have all kinds of exhibitions here. You know, they'll have everything from, um, you know, here, let me get, so I can give you guys a better view. But a lot of times, you know, they'll have uh, sculptures and statues and just all kinds of different artwork out here on display all the time. And, um, yeah. So, you know, and it goes all the way out that way, you know, on that side, it's already like, the other part of the city you know the real the real city and so on and so forth i think that's the church over here might be yeah and uh yeah i don't want to veer too far off man i really got to get going i got shit to do i really want to keep filming but i got to get going but anyways guys i really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode um it was a mishmash of my sunday afternoon um yeah you know i don't know what else to say except um life is good and i hope your life is good and i hope you guys are enjoying your life and um i hope you guys are enjoying these videos and just love walking and talking with me and listening to my my babbling as i show you guys all this beauty and um and if i if my talking gets too much it's okay i'll put some music on okay in the background instead of my voice but um Alright guys, so let me see, let me get my way out of here and um, I guess finish off, finish off, you know, I just want to show you guys more, you know, there's just so much to show, look at this, alright, now where do I gotta, I gotta go that way, alright, well, guys, thank you so much for joining me today, I really appreciate it, as always, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a happy, happy rest of your Monday. Have a happy, happy rest of your week. And um, again, thanks again for joining me. As always, peace out and enjoy your week. All right, peace. Lambo says hi, by the way.